Today we look at the Sega Master System and we'll look at some classic titles that received an exclusive makeover in Brazil. Welcome to Retro Recollections. In the recent video, I looked at the exclusively released titles for the Sega Master System in Brazil and explored Sega's relationship with Tectoy, who continue to be the exclusive distributor for Sega in Brazil to this day. As well as producing many exclusive titles, Tectoy leveraged its relationship with Sega and were able to rebrand several classic Master System titles for the Brazilian market. These titles were rebranded with graphics and assets from popular Brazilian properties at the time. This was a genius move in a number of ways. Producing games for Brazilian properties from comic books and television was guaranteed to generate some good sales. Utilizing existing games as opposed to starting a game from scratch significantly reduced the cost of producing the games and also meant they could leverage the existing code base of a proven game. Five well-known Brazilian properties had games modified for them which resulted in eight released rebranded games. Let's take a look at these properties and do a side-by-side -side comparison with the original titles. TV Colosso, also known as the Hot Dog Channel, was a Brazilian children's television puppet show series that ran from 1993 until 1997 and was very popular with young Brazilian audiences. As Aventuras da TV Colosso, which means The Adventures of TV Colosso, is a modified version of Asterix and the Secret Mission, released in 1996 with Asterix and Obelix replaced by Gilmar and Priscilla, characters from the show. Originally known as El Chapulín Colorado in Mexico, the comedic character Chapulín was brought to Brazilian television in 1984 where it became very popular. The character is a superhero parody that carries a toy hammer. Chapulín x Dracula, un duelo ostador, which translates Chapulín vs Dracula, a frightening duel, is a rebrand of Ghost House with Ghost House hero, Mick, replaced by Chapulín.
Monica no Castelo do Dragão, which translates as Monica in the Dragon's Castle, uses Wonder Boy in Monsterland as its base game, with Wonder Boy's hero Tom Tom replaced by Monica, a classic Brazilian comic character that has history going back to 1959. Since Monica is always carrying her stuffed rabbit named Sansão, her strongest weapon, it replaces the sword in this game. This 1991 release was the first game to receive the Tech Toy rebranding treatment. Turma de Monica, a o resgat, which translates to Monica's gang in The Rescue, is the sequel of sorts to the first Monica game. Monica has been kidnapped by Capitão Feio, or Captain Ugly, from the last game and must escape. The basis of this game is Wonder Boy 3, The Dragon's Trap, with Wonder Boy's hero, Tom Tom, once again replaced by Monica. Geraldinho is another famous Brazilian comic character. Geraldinho is an infantile version of another comic character, Geraldão, and is a boy addicted to soft drinks, ice cream and television. He's always with his friends, the dog Cachorrão and the cat Tufinho. Geraldinho was playing his video game when his friend Cachorrão kicked him inside the TV screen. Now you must get Geraldinho out of the game. Geraldinho is, of course, a rebranded version of the classic Master System game Teddy Boy, with the Teddy Boy character just directly replaced with Geraldinho. Sapo Chulé, o Mestre do Kung Fu, which means Sapo Chulé, the Master of Kung Fu, is a character based on a popular toy in Brazil back in the 1980s. A toad with shoes, but when he takes them off he has very smelly feet. In fact, Chulé is the Portuguese word for smelly feet. 
so his name literally translates to Toad with Smelly Feet. This game rebrands Kung Fu Kid, with Sapu replacing the main character and very little else, which has become a common occurrence with all these games. Very little, apart from the main character sprites, the language, and certain text has been altered. In this game, Sapu is a great Kung Fu fighter on a mission to rescue his master. Sapo Chulé vis os invasores do brejo, which translates Sapo Chulé vs the Swamp Invaders, is a rebrand of Psycho Fox. As in Psycho Fox, you get to play as other characters, and here they have also been replaced by characters from the Sapo Chulé franchise, with little else changed. Sapu Chulé SOS Lagoa Poluida, which means Sapu Chulé SOS Polluted Lagoon, has the game Astro Warrior as its base, with its spaceship replaced with a submarine ship driven by Sapu Chulé. The premise behind this rebrand is that three scientists built an underwater rubbish processing complex in order to produce cheap energy at the expense of the ecosystem. The lagoon animals fight back by asking Sapu Chulé to help them. The game remains a basic shooter, up but instead of destroying spaceships and aliens, you must destroy the scientists' facilities and clean up the lagoon by destroying the rubbish in it. The lagoon is filled with all sorts of debris, such as matches, half-eaten apples, cotton buds, old boots and other general junk. Now this game has done much better than just swapping out the main character sprite. All the enemies have been changed, as well as the backgrounds. The game has almost a totally different feel to it. So that's our look at the Tech Toy rebranded Master System games. Did any catch your eye? Were any an improvement on the original titles? Personally, I can't say that I would prefer to play these rebranded titles. I would much prefer the originals. That being said, I can see why these localizations would be a draw. If you were from Brazil at the time and you knew the properties these were based on, there's nothing better than playing a game based on the franchise that you really love. So I can see the reason for these. Are you from Brazil perhaps? I would love to hear your thoughts if you've managed to play these titles or you did back in the day. Do you prefer the rebrands or do the classic titles do it for you instead? Leave me some comments down below. Well I hope you enjoyed this look at a particularly niche part of Sega Master System history. Thanks for watching! Please give the video a thumbs up if you feel it deserves it, it really helps. And make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos. Also take a look at the description below for ways that you can contact me or get in touch and perhaps support the channel if you feel so inclined. So until next time, bye bye.